Hey, Coach Abel here along with Coach Weiss, the Able Body Experts, and we've been just been doing a series on the Reach Lunge to try to explain things like progressions and digressions to you and how to do these kind of things, and then how to um, add ultimate progression. So now we're going to show you a sequence. So if you haven't seen the front Reach Lunge and the, and the lateral Reach Lunge and the posterior Reach Lunge, go back and look at those. And now we're going to show you a basic sequence. This is one that I like to use with a lot of different athletes or even myself. We're going to do a reach lunge shoulder complex. So what coach is going to do, and we're not going to do it all out as a workout. We're just going to do it as a demo. Coach is going to do a front reach lunge with a side lateral raise. Then he's going to do a lateral reach lunge with an upright row. And then he's going to do a posterior reach lunge with a shoulder press. And what you would do is you would increase first the resistance as a progression and then your reps. So I've gone as high as 15 reps a side, which is 45 reps times two, which is 90 reps for the delts, because you're doing them in between um, each alternation of the legs. You'll see what I mean in a sec. But we're just going to demo five reps aside, so you get the idea of creating a complex that creates kinetic chain involvement, which chain is as strong as its weakest link. So this is toenail to fingernail training, which we're always talking about in terms of enhancing fitness, conditioning, and even bodybuilding, if you understand how to make Weak, weakest change stronger. So coach is just going to start with the dumbbells. Again, we're only going to do five reps a side. If you wanted to progress this maximally, you would increase the reps according to your conditioning level. So alternating, he's going to do with a side lateral raise, one, and then up, and then alternate the leg, one. That's one rep, but it's actually two reps of side delts. So there's two, two. All right, he reaches over. Yeah, threes, right, see the range of motion, he's going to do five there, and then he's going to turn to the camera for you in a sec, so even though that's five reach lunges with the leg, that's ten side laterals, now he's going to go here with an upright row, lateral reach lunge, one, upright row, other side, one, upright row, twos, upright row, twos, three, Three, four, four, five, and one more. So five reach lunges, alternating legs, but ten upright rows. Now he's going to go posterior reach lunge with a shoulder press. This one, and then boom, and then reach, and then boom. Notice he's in control. He's not using momentum to do the weight for him. All right? And we're creating a sequence of multi-planar movement, all right, with range of motion, kinetic chain involvement, toenail to fingernail, right? And a whole shoulder complex of pushing, raising, and pressing. And that's a basic reach lunge complex. We call it the reach lunge shoulder complex. That's a reach lunge shoulder complex. If you want to see something even more devastating, check out the Ultimate Matrix. Uh, somewhere in the YouTube library you can find it. So basically we had the reach lunge all done together. And if you wanted to progress it even more in terms of challenge, you would add reps and or you would add weight. We just did this as a demo. But so you see how we have multiplanar affect from the kinetic chain of front, side, and posterior reach lunge. And then we made it a shoulder complex by adding side lateral upright row and shoulder press. Very, very effective as you double the reps for shoulders that you do for the legs and you involve glutes, hamstrings, um, and the systems of the body that work. I don't want to get too far into that. It'll confuse you. Any comments, Coach? Yeah, just to, to point out that the, a lot of people will, you could use this for a warm-up if they have shoulder problems and stuff like that because the weights are relatively light and the movements you're hitting off from all different angles so to warm up from this on your first set, maybe using, I think those were fives or sevens or something just for demonstration. Sure. The next one, maybe you go up to eights or tens and then maybe depending on your sure. reps, right? Yeah. But then if you're going into some bigger movements after that, you're going in prepped and ready and you're, you're, yeah. you're good to go. So as coach is saying, you can use it as a prehab or a warm up kind of deal, or you can do it at the end of the workout with max reps and max weights and use it as a, as a complete conditioning tool.